sleeping. Their daily task is to wash their faces. When I wash my face, I have to look into the camera. You have to scrub your face in a certain way. You can't leave until the green light comes on. If someone misses the wash, the red light will come on. The girls turn to the wall in fear. The guards will be here immediately and take the errant girls away. In a flash, the girls became big girls and they're brainwashed by the TV every day. As they get older, they change floors. Anna moved to the 16th floor. On this day, they were lectured by the superintendent. They said they had completed all the courses. They were to wait for the rich man to adopt them. The superintendent even gave the girls a dress. This made the girls very happy because they'd been wearing school uniforms for more than 10 years. Everyone had a smile on their face. That day, Anna was washing clothes in the laundry room. Jesse told her, never take vitamins. It made Anna feel strange because the students take vitamins every day. Anna then took the vitamins in front of the camera. But then she turned around and spit the vitamins into the toilet. Lights out in the dormitory at night. Anna said goodnight to the person next to her as usual. But the girl next to her didn't move at all. Jesse got up and told Anna. The others had taken sleeping pills and were asleep. Just then there were footsteps at the door. The two of them had to pretend to be asleep. The superintendent came with two guards, under the command of the caretaker. Anna and another girl were picked up and taken away by the guards. They were taken to a room. The caretaker came in with an old couple. Turn 16. They're adopted by rich parents. And while the girls were waiting in anticipation, Anna and another girl were taken away and then presented to the rich man as if they were merchandise. The rich man's wife chose the other girl. Anna was sent back to her dormitory. That night the girls were taken away one by one. The next day, Anna found Jessie. Asked her when she realized there was a problem with the vitamins. Jessie said she found out when she was 13. She told Anna to keep a low profile so she wouldn't get caught. On this day, the school nurse vaccinated the girls. The school nurse was very concerned about Anna. She thought the school nurse was a good man. Then the girl got bruises all over her arms. Anna went to the doctor to ask why. She didn't realize she'd blurted it out. She told him she wasn't taking her vitamins. The school nurse's face changed immediately. He gave Anna a booster shot. Anna became dizzy. She's been confined by the caretaker. So the school nurse and the administrator are in cahoots. That night, Jessie tied a towel into a rope. Then she lay down and pretended to sleep. Then the guards came into the bedroom. Jessie strangled him from behind. When the guard was unconscious, Jessie found the access card on him. She made her way to where Anna was being held. She wanted to let Anna out and escape with her. She didn't realize that the alarm was going off. Jessie had to turn and run. The next day Anna was released from her cell. The caretaker told the girls, Jessie had been caught, but the access card is missing. She warned the girls, if they want to live, they'll give up their access cards. But just as Anna was getting ready for bed, she found the access card hidden at the foot of her bed. Every day, as long as you're 16 years old, they'll be picked up and bought like commodities. No one knows where the girls go. Anna found an access card, but the card won't open the door. Luckily, she was smart enough to use the access card to unscrew the screws. That's how she got the door open. She found the caretaker, sneak attack and knocked her out. Then she found Jessie who was locked up. They went to a room. They found three packages here. Anna opened them. She didn't realize it was three girls with no shame. So this is where the girls are being held. Just for the skin on their faces. The two of them came to the gate. But Jessie's going back. She wants to save all the girls here. Then Jessie came to the classroom to tell the girls the truth about this place. But the girls didn't believe her. Luckily, Anna pressured the caretaker to come here. She showed the administrator's scar from the face transplant. They put the caretaker in the brig. When the girls opened the door, an ear-splitting alarm sounded. They rushed out of the place. The girls ran for their lives. But the guards are coming after them. Anna and Jessie hid in a cabin. They didn't realize the school nurse was coming after them. It turns out Anna's face is the most expensive in the place. Anna wants to live, so she made a few cuts on her face. The doctor finally gave up. What you didn't expect. The doctor wasn't the mastermind either. He was taken away by the guards and put on a boxed lunch. The last two girls were saved by the police. When they came out of the hut, the sunlight they hadn't seen in over 10 years shone on their faces. The two of them looked unusually happy. This film tells us, if we stick together, there's no problem that can't be solved. If you like the film, please like and follow it. See you next time.